Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML TV, channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own. Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Praise the Lord. God's good. Call familiar face. Call the folks you know, because today got you another episode of my YouTube CVS station identification. Before you, before you think CVS, isn't that the pharmacy? No. Channel Vlog Show. It's the Channel Vlog Show in which there's ordinary and then there's me. That's right. This vlog show is known as WEML TV, Channel 77, and this is me, Eric Limo, the host of the show. Welcome, everybody. Episode 576. It's September the 23rd, 2021, 4 p.m. on the dot, ladies and gentlemen. We just got finished watching NXT UK. NXT UK, I'll tell you one thing. A lot of people are concerned about the changes happening in the WWE. One change that has not, you know, that stayed, one thing that has to stay the same is the NXT UK roster and the talent they have and the show they, they put on. I'll tell you one thing, they're very, very serious about their wrestling too. And, and uh, also they have a little bit of entertainment in between. But uh, I think the unique thing that makes NXT UK stand out is the Heritage Cup because the way their matches happen, uh, the, the way their, their, their matches happen is under the, uh, Old school British rounds rules. Now you've been wondering, uh, what are the British rounds rules? And and the reason why I'm uh, about to tell you this because it kicked off with the um, final uh, semi, no, with the second semifinal for the number one contendership for the NXT UK Heritage Cup. As you know, Noam Dar has reached the finals, and the winner of this matchup faces him. It was is Tailman, the man with the evil eye, with with Rohan Raja in his corner, and Wolfgang of the Gallus Boys on top, and had the Coffee Brothers in his corner. Now, British Rounds rules, I love explaining these rules, and I haven't memorized them as much, so here's how this works. The British Round rules, matches consist of six three-minute rounds with 20-second breaks between each round. Matches are two or three falls. Falls can be won by pinfall, submission, or countout. Once a fall occurs, the round ends. This match ends when once a wrestler has won two falls. In the event of disqualification or knockout, the match instantly ends without the need for two falls. If all six rounds are completed, whoever's had on falls wins the match, or if it's a tie, we go into sudden death. So, Tailman versus Wolfgang, and uh, and this match, you know, I usually think that most of these British round matches, British, um, British round um, matches, end up getting five, six rounds each. So this is a Probably the quickest that um, so far in of all the British rounds rules matches. Only four rounds, only four rounds it lasted. The first round went to Wolfgang. Uh, nobody won the second round, and the third round went to Tailman, and then the fourth round is Wolfgang. So, so the finals, an all Scotland final for the number one contendership for the NXT UK Heritage Cup Championship. It is Noam Dar one on one with Wolfgang, and I'm sure the Gallus boys will probably going to keep it. The Coffee Brothers will have to keep an eye on Shaw Samuels because he's been very, very sneaky. And because Noam Dar could be a little snake in the grass, let me tell you. But it, Noam Dar always falls on Alicia Fox. But he's no, she's no longer with the company. So Noam Dar better get off, get his mind off Alicia Fox. Um. Rampage Brown is getting ready for the uh, triple threat match. He faces eight, a kid and Nathan Frazier for the number one contenders match for the NXT UK Heavyweight Championship. Meanwhile, Blair Davenport told Sid Scala, "More bad things are going to happen till you reinstate me." Blair Davenport's going to cause a lot of trouble in the women's division, definitely. And then Soul Culture was getting interviewed and. Uh, you know, Mark and Andrew said, we're going to create some content. You want to come with us? Yeah, sure. And then and then Sam Gradwell walks by. Oh, hey, subculture. Yogurt. And I'm like, what? You? And then their little masterpiece was ruined by 
Sam Gradwell and having Y-O-G yoga for yogurt. He said, we can fix this. We can fix this. Sam Gradwell, what have you done, son? What you have done? Don't take off friggin' subculture. All right. Meanwhile, Gallus decided to raid Jordan Devlin's locker room to celebrate uh, Wolfgang's victory over Teo, man. And uh, Jordan Devlin, he's, you know, like, what are you doing in there? You stole my glasses. What are you doing at all? And, and he got so, I'm telling Johnny Sano. <laughs> like, what? You tell that? You know? And then Nathan Fraser was getting ready for the triple threat matchup. And here's a women's action. Isla Dawn going one-on-one -on -one with Ginny after what Isla Dawn did at Ginny's locker. Ginny was taking exception to that. These ladies really went, you know, you know, they're both heels. So it's a heel on heel match, which is something that is very, very rare. And, uh, you know, Joseph Connor's distraction did pay off for Ginny as uh, Ginny did pick up the victory over Isla Dawn. What a heck of a matchup that was. And uh, I got to tell you, <clears throat> I got to tell you, you know, Ginny could, could be, you know, you know, these ladies can, can move up on the rankings um, up against uh, uh, Mako Setamora pretty soon. So, got to watch out for well, these two ladies because they'll do whatever it takes to get become NXT UK Women's Champ. Ginny's back on the white track, but Aifa Valkyrie will be out uh, for just suffering an injury. Um, A-Kid is getting ready for the triple threat matchup. And then Subculture once again got interviewed and talking about Dane Luna being the strongest in the women's division. And Zaya Brooks side challenges Dane Luna to a matchup. She goes, hey, why don't, why don't we do this? Because, you know, I never faced you before. I want to face you in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So Dane Luna's like, okay, we know you're the strongest, but are you the fastest? And, uh, and then Dane Luna's like, huh, what? And then Mark, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webb is like, oh, she is pretty fast, you know. Fast and I'm sure they're going to train her on how to run. And Charlie Dempsey will make his debut next week on NXT UK. So it'll be very interesting to see what Mr. Dempsey can do inside that ring. Asher Smith, Oliver Carter, and Trent Seven were talking about which move was better, the rock bottom or the bookend. Seriously? And and, and, he go, and then Trent Seven brings it up. It's like you two, uh, uh, Smith and Carter, and Mustache Mountain. It's, you know, how about this? We challenge you to the tag match with uh, what about what about Tyler Bay? Oh, you know, he's gonna pause it. I'll, I'll give him a ring. I'll talk to him. So another match could happen next week. Tag match: Smith and Carter versus Mustache Mountain. You're talking about number one championship. The tag team division is gonna be heating up in NXT UK. And the triple threat match: Rampage Brown versus Nathan Fraser versus A Kid. Uh, Rampage Brown and A Kid challenged for the NXT UK Heavyweight Championship, but lost to Walter at the time, then champion Walter. Nathan Frazier has not gotten a shot. So, but with Dragunov now as the as the champ, new champ, got these new number one contenders. And this, this matchup went all out. I mean, Rampage Brown had the power advantage. Frazier and A-Kid had, had the uh, the speed and, and the quickness. So they had to use their speed and quickness. And they, 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 had, they had close moves. They hit, you know, Nate, um, Rampage Brown hit the Dr. Bomb. They kicked out the Dr. Bomb, and it was all... And then A-Kid um, did a jump and drop kick to uh, get the uh, get Brown out of the ring. Did the same thing on Frazier. Took advantage of that one. And A-Kid did put, put the pin on Frazier. So, A-Kid is now the new number one contender when the NXT UK Heavyweight Championship. What a year for A-Kid. He started off as the um, Heritage Cup champion. And I do believe this live show is coming back. So I think once NXT UK gets back on the road, it will be something else to behold. So, uh, so you've been, I think you guys have been wondering. So A Kid versus Dragonoff will be an excellent matchup. I'm, I'm, I mean, the way the eight and the white A Kid is, A Kid's only young. I think he's what, what, 20 some, 20 some odd years old, probably 20, 2021. He's still young. He's still a young buck at heart. Um, not act, not make not 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 Nick Nat Jackson young buck, but he, he's still a young kid. I uh, you know, and he's very, very impressive in that ring. A kid is, a kid and dragging off. I mean, these two guys, I think they're gonna go at it. I mean, after the experience with Walter, I think these two men gonna be an even matchup. 
it's going to, you know, neither man's going to have an advantage of size and strength, but I think it's going to be an even matchup, and believe me, it's going to be something else. It's going to be a barn burner fight, that's for sure, between A-Kid and Ilya Dragunov for the NXT UK Heavyweight Championship. And I'll tell you what, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all over that, man. I am all over that. And just, uh... And, uh, so, uh, you know, uh oh, let me read. So, uh, you know, and, uh, And, uh, and, uh, all right. I just, you know, so anyways, um, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, A-Kid, Dragon Off, let's see that matchup. As you know, um, NXT UK, I mean, you know, WWE's been returning to the UK, crowds are back live in the UK. Only a matter of time that NXT UK will be seeing crowds again, so, uh, I know most of these, um, uh, most of these uh, uh, shows have been taped at the BT studio, so it'd be very interesting to see what now, when exactly we will see crowds for the NXT UK. Um, I'm sure soon. And um, well, I'll say a lot of people want to see A Kid and Dragon Off. It'd be a heck of a matchup. You know what? You no, know be really fun. A K A Kid versus Dragon Off for the NXT UK Heavyweight Title in a British Rounds Rules match. You know, you could have A Kid having the advantage there. So, that's all the time we have on this channel, uh, on this channel, on this show. <laughs> Woohoo! And I'm not done yet uh, on the show, on this episode. Um, join uh, myself, Brandon Martin, Jordan Little, Michael Mabardi, and Yurio Ibarra for tonight's episode 102 of Rant and Rave Podcast. Check us out on Brandon Martin's channel um, if, if you can. And um, see us cause a lot of shenanigans with the people in, in chat. And also... We have our three topics. I have my three topics. It'll be very interesting. Hope you guys can watch, all right? And uh, always got to plug the show on here. Got to come up my calls to the show. So, that's it. So, I will see you guys later and um, next episode, all right? So, peace, love, bless out. Laters. <laughs>